Wow. At one time, this would have held uh, 400,000 people. <laughs> He'll tell you. I remember him. What's heißt Steinbruch? Stone, uh, where they bring out the stones from the earth? How do you call it? A quarry. 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 Are they going to uh, renovate this also? No. no. What, what, what is this? This it, is the cover about. Oh, this is the should be, because it stopped in 1939. So it's uh, only a fragment. But that's the same thing. Do you have any idea what that is sticking out? Or just yeah, that's just so people can walk out and look. Oh, oh look out here. Yeah. Gather up here. Michael's got something to tell you. Okay, my friends, we reached uh, the Congress Hall, the new Congress Hall, because the old one was this uh, near the Luitpoldhain. Oh. Yeah? Oh, yeah. This was from 1906, from this exhibition I told you. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, they. Uh, brought it in a new uh, uh, style uh, during the party rallies and this was the only building on the party rally which uh, was hit by bombs and burned out during the war. Mm -hmm. Yeah, On all other buildings we had no destroying about bombings. Oh. Okay. So, the, the new... Totally destroyed the inner city though, didn't oh, they? Yeah. yeah. Why, how would they miss over here, I wonder? Okay, you know, uh, not so many people. We had two. Maybe, yeah, we, maybe. we had two uh, cities bombing, uh, two uh, countries bombing yeah. Germany, yeah. the Americans and the British. Yeah. And uh, you know, uh, there was a kind of uh, work separating the Americans only by day yeah. and the British only by night, and uh, only uh, the strategy of bombing was. Uh, Totally, um, it was not uh, different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the Americans they want to hit only military targets, uh, industrial targets, uh, infrastructure, yeah. and that things. But uh, although they did, uh, do you know the word carpet bombing? Sure. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. So they did, but the British uh, <coughs> after 1943 changed the strategy by uh, uh, Marshal Harris and he said uh, we do moral bombing now. So the British only flew to the to the civilian parts of the cities. Yeah. So that's why all our old cities are nearly totally destroyed. I mean Nuremberg in the inner city was 85% destroyed in 1945. The house everybody. And uh, uh, the whole city in 60%. And the industrial areas only in 25 percent. Really? Yeah. 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 Only in 25 percent. And you know the German uh, uh, military industry, uh, the the highest uh, uh, bring out of tanks and airplanes and weapons. They had 1944. Right. Yeah. yeah when yeah. the bombing was on the yeah, highest yeah. level. Yeah. 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 So uh, uh, I, I'm a military historian, and I can give you dozen example. Uh, in military history, oh, we we break uh, uh, the nation or the enemy yeah. nation uh, by beating the civilians, mm. and nothing never worked. Well. Never worked. Never, never worked. No, it made never. them dig but in again harder. Again and again and again, they doing this. It's really crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so uh, so this was totally un uninteresting for bombing yeah. because here inside was a, a military hospital during the war, and nothing else. Mm. Okay, a uh, new Congress Hall. Um, they began here in uh, 1935 to build and it should be the biggest hall in the world inside and we are in, 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 in uh, the middle of what uh, was normally uh, a, a room uh, with a roof on it. They had 50,000 seat seating places wow. and you know a uh, seating place you need the double space than a standing place. Oh. 50,000 seating places wow. here. And uh, <coughs> when you see uh, the wall, you see yeah. uh, the doors, and uh, behind the doors there should be balconies with seatings also. And uh, here in the front of the horseshoe, because it is built like a horseshoe, uh, there you had uh, um, the stage, and there should be the biggest, uh, how do you say, organ? Organ? Organ from a church? Yeah, organ. organ. The biggest organ in the world. 
and this building should be used for the party congresses yeah so uh, it was not finished uh, they stopped uh, uh, the construction in 1939 because of the war and this was a very very difficult uh, uh, construction era because we are next to the biggest lake here so the ground is uh, damp Do you say yeah damp? it's, it's yeah. wet just so, down below yeah, though they need 1200 beton okay uh, yeah to bring this on top yeah. and uh, when we saw it outside you think it's uh, uh, very mighty with uh, stones but inside is only bricks i don't know how many uh, but it's only a, a facade. Do you say this? Yeah. A facade. A facade. Oh, a facade yeah. Yeah. Only a facade. But uh, uh, nevertheless, 49 quarries in Germany worked for the party rally. Wow. For all these buildings here, and only a few were, were uh, ready uh, in 1939. I believe in the examples. And um, they tried uh, to bring a roof on this, and this is the plan how it should look like. Mm -hmm. Ready. That great architecture. Yeah, big sunlight. sunlight. No, it's mm -hmm. never yeah, like this. Just like 1945. So, make uh, a good football stadium. Um, and you must imagine <laughs> yeah, yes. um, there's one level left. It should be one level more All right. from the head. Yeah? Okay. And uh, again, I want uh, to tell you something one level about more. mystic or, or, or visual uh, Myst effects. We are next to the lake, so when they started constructing this thing, they built uh, one part in wood, only five meters long, but the normal height, and uh, they tried uh, to, to construct it in a way when uh, the weather is good, that it should be as a kind of, the lake should be a kind of mirror, so the building is doubled as high as it is normally when you're coming from the back. <coughs> Unbelievable, yeah. Sure. Unbelievable. And, um, and a lot of that, a lot of you know uh, the inner city of Nuremberg in our old churches, our medieval churches. They are really big. Yeah? <coughs> and uh, we did a simulation how it looks like when one of these old churches is here in. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he did, he did a simulation. Wow. We. We sometimes go past that church, and it's a very big church. Yeah. So some of you, I think, uh, know uh, the Colosseum in Rome. Yeah. 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 Um, the Colosseum in Rome, you can drink, drink three times in this building. Wow. But it looks different because the Colosseum is in, in, uh, surrounded by houses. By surrounded this is right. on the field, so yeah. it's a very uh, different uh, optic when you come in here. Yeah. Um, yeah. After uh, the war. Uh, first, the Americans uh, were in. They had a warehouse here for military. Gave it back to the city of Nuremberg, and then we had a lot of ideas uh, what to do with this thing. Uh, in, in the first years, it was our exhibition hall, yeah, for reconstructing exhibitions, the cities, and such things. Then we want to bring our football stadium in here. Too expensive. And uh, the last idea was uh, in uh, the 80s to bring uh, an adventure center and uh, 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 shopping mall in. <laughs> we have plenty of developers in America. Yeah. 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 But it was too expensive. Yeah. So uh, uh, the building stands and stands and stands. And you know, uh, a long time the city of Nuremberg did everything to bring all these uh, uh, buildings under the earth. I mean, yeah, yeah, break them down, yeah. break them down. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, in the 70s, the state of Bavaria, not the city of Nuremberg, the state of Bavaria says, this is a national heritage sure. and you must preserve it. So, during uh, since this time, we do a little bit renovation here. But uh, in, the, in the late 90s, we opened uh, the documentation center. It was the first documentation center. Now you have one on Obersalzberg and one in Munich, but this is the first one. And uh, the documentation center or museum is uh, in this uh, part of the building. And uh, you see this, uh, is, do you call it arrow? Arrow, yeah. yeah. File. Arrow, yeah. And uh, the architect, uh, Günter Domenik, he had the idea That's to the arrow. open uh, uh, the Nazi architecture by an arrow, bring a democratic arrow through the building. Mm -hmm. 
So when you we, we have the heart of Germany. When you come in, you can mm -hmm. walk like the people over there yeah, yeah. and can have a look uh, yeah, in this yeah. uh, area here. Interesting uh, information is uh, that the original. Builder? Builder, yeah. Well, it was an Baumeister? It was an Austrian. Uh, Adolf mm Hitler, -hmm. in the end. And uh, the architect uh, of the museum is also an Austrian. Yeah. So it's in the same country. Maybe. Uh, yeah, it's quite interesting, but uh, you need an audio guide and uh, it needs one and a half hour. Yeah. You can wow. do it tomorrow. So what did they actually plan to do in this? Party congresses. Yeah, party congresses. Yeah. 